There we are, we're back now. Earlier, it was grey sky. There's a nice big picture of um, the hill fort, the steep climb up there. Or you get over the stile and work the secret pathway and steps. Now we've got blue sky, look. Be gorgeous up there now. Be gorgeous up there. Few birds twittering. Bluebells quite lush down here, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? There's quite a lot of bluebells down here. It's very beautiful. I can feel the peace. I can feel the. I wonder if it was um, a place of lots of fighting and killing, or uh, Barrel Warren, because apparently where Albury Woods was place of lots of tribal fighting. This is the water coming down from the stream by the Pink Cottage, by the way. It's the same stream. It branches off here and here and there. You can smell the garlic again. Here we got some garlic. Look at that. I think I videoed this bit this morning. Absolutely. If you, if you could capture smell, it's amazing. I'm just going to turn off a minute. Oh, it's gorgeous. The smell of this garlic is just amazing. So beautiful. A blanket of snow mixed with the moss and the ivy. It's absolutely amazingly beautiful. One big downpour and this will all be washed flat. It's the best time to see it now. Best time. And like I said, if I could capture the smell if you don't like garlic, you won't like it though. I've just frightened the life out of a dog a minute ago. I frightened him. He didn't really see me, so he just saw the back of me. <laughs> it let this enormous howl. <laughs> Bless his little socks. Yeah, I took a picture of that earlier, but of course the sun wasn't out. So that picture I've done there will be really pretty. You know what I mean? Earlier the sun went out and the sky was grey. What a difference the photography makes when the sun's out. It's a completely different image from what I took earlier. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Like over here, we've got a, we've got the stream running here in the shade. These plants do like a bit of shade and they like this time of year. That's why they're out this time of year. Because they like this sort of thing under the shade of the tree with the water running by. Look how gorgeous this is. Really is. I'm so glad I made it before, the, before it all faded. I'm so glad. Let me take a picture. Well, I'm leaving you soon, Robero. I've really enjoyed it, but I will be out to do the fort the next time I come. And sometimes I'll come from the other direction as well. I'll come up the West Mendip Way. I don't mind doing this same route when you do it in a different direction. I don't mind. I've got the music of the stream following me all the way down. Like I said, I can, I've been here when it's been silent, it's been dry. You know, and, you know, I've been here when there is no water. 
Even the stinger nettles look happy, look, over there. <laughs> So magical, woods are so magical. More wild garlic, look. Beautiful, isn't it? I just, I just love this, you know. I mean, the thing is, I do analyze my videos when I first do them and um, edit them and add photos and get them ready for YouTube. I've done so many and of course if I put them on Facebook, Facebook do show you your, vid your videos now and again. Facebook do. Got a new trip then. Um, so that is nice sometimes. I don't keep watching them but if they, Facebook put a reminder on I do like to see them and I will hunt for them as well. This is what I call living tree, you see. How I would have loved to have heard the experiences of my ancestors on their walks, their feelings and thoughts. <sighs> Enjoying beauty, embraced by beauty. How I would love to have... So, you know, it is important for us to share stuff. And of course it is easier now, like even my grandkids are putting stuff on all the time of their experiences. So. so there's a record of them as well. And of course I was doing videos, not very good ones really, when they were little. I've got pictures of them. So, I did a, some video of George's wedding and things like that, which I've kept in all the photos. I've kept them even if she didn't want them, because she's divorced. Anyway, I have to edit out the personal. I have to remember to do that. Now, if I get out of the sunlight and look over there, that hill there is one mass of white garlic. That is one mass of white garlic that is and if you cross over here and you follow that path up you can get to Roboro Church which you have to go and ask for them to open the door which I've not got round to yet that track over there takes you up to a little road be careful though because little roads can be dangerous and you can go to Roboro Church I've never found it open um, and I used to do a lot of cycling as well don't forget, in the beginning. Um, then I went, as soon as I got my van I didn't cycle quite as much. Now, well, I walk everywhere now. I've got used to it and I love it. Look at that though folks. Just look at that. Look at all that display there right the way up. Look. Right the way up. Right, the last little stage before we leave Roboro and Dolbury Warren. Like I said, the hill fort's up there. Well, next time we come, we'll be doing the hill fort. Um, I don't like to do it all in one go because it's you get oversaturated. But uh, I'm going to stop at the gate. Have a look at my watch and we're making our way to Sanford anyway, whatever happens we're going to Sanford and um, I've really enjoyed today. I don't feel tired or anything. I feel re rejuvenated. I'm really glad I've had this experience again. Um, like I said, I got a feeling I did come out since the 126 ended and did the 
West Mendip Way, but I can't, I'm not sure. Anyway, there's somebody coming, I'm going to turn off. We're at the gate now. I'm just going to zoom into those blankets because I'm leaving all this now, but I have got some more country walking to do. So I'm just going round and doing one more view over and out for here. <laughs>